Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of SRX The Game. And in today's video, we're headed to Elm Creek, a place where we've had, frankly, not a whole lot of success, but that will not bring down my spirits. As much as we've struggled at that track, today we're getting an engine upgrade and that is the most important thing. So we'll hop over to the garage. Let's go right into the engine, level three, and there we have it. 25 out of 30 performance, only 30% durability, but we'll deal with that. $60,918. That's a plus 17 performance, so we're not going to mess around. We're getting this. Purchase and equip. You are absolutely right. We're purchasing and equipping that bad boy. $5,500 remaining. Uh, we will hop back out for a second. Uh, actually, we want to come back in. Let's do... There we go. Let's go ahead and sell this part. Press the Y key here. We're going to get how much? $6,900. Okay, I'm definitely here for that. Okay, so now let's take a look at where we are. We're at 79 car performance. That's two-thirds of the way toward a, a fully upgraded car. That's awesome. Two-thirds of the way. But now let's take a look at where we're going next. Because we're always looking forward and the tires are going to be our best way forward level three tires uh, it looks like again depending on where we want to go with this if we stick with where we've been what we've been doing except for the engine of course uh, on the middle in the middle on the bottom 28 of 30 on performance it's twenty four thousand eight hundred dollars now if we say well we'll settle for what we did with the engine on the top in the middle then that's only 13.6, so it's just over half price. And of course, we've already got a set that we could do right now, but that's only a plus four performance. I really want that plus 10, but we're gonna have to see how we do with this new engine. Again, as I mentioned before, we're now in a position, if I back out to the garage area, we're now in a position where we're gonna have more horsepower than we've got grip in the car between the chassis suspension and the tires we don't have enough grip for all of the horsepower and that should make it really fun to drive but right now let's see do we really need anything i know we can repair the parts uh, but we're still very much in the excellent position let's go ahead and do that let's repair those uh, of course i'm not sure exactly how much it's going to cost to repair this engine which we're likely going to have to do after every race just given its low durability but Again, that does not dampen my spirits at all. So Elm Creek, one-fifth mile, so a very, very short track, not a lot of banking. Uh, it's fairly rough, too, if you run uh, the wrong groove at this track. So we're going to have to be very careful about where we run and see if we can't figure out a way to use that horsepower to our advantage. All right, practice and qualifying in the books, and so far, so good. Our goal time 1066 and our best lap in practice uh, i only ran two laps in practice um 10.42 which is a couple of tenths better almost uh, a quarter of a second better in fact and then qualifying went a little bit better than that here's one thing i can tell you about this car the horsepower is so much fun now we don't have anywhere near enough grip to contain this horsepower and that makes it an absolute blast to drive so i can't wait to get into these races it feels like we've got a huge engine no grip and all we're doing is sliding how about that we're in heat race number one top five advance to the a main and that is our primary goal here all right so here we go tons of horsepower no grip Let's see if we can make it work Again, trying to hug this bottom, not because we lack horsepower now, but because I believe that gives us our best opportunity. Try not to slide out like I did right there. But yeah, now I'm going to have to figure out how to drive this thing with all this horsepower and no grip. So <laughs> this is so much fun to drive, though. Yeah, it's, it doesn't even feel like I'm driving the car at this point. I'm almost just aiming fire. 
for those of you who are familiar with that quote about Formula One cars in a certain era of their existence. You didn't really drive it, you just aim, you just point it and shoot it and hope it goes the way you want it to go. All right, so right now we're in fifth position. I know we're getting pressure from behind though. Oh, look out. Well, I thought we were getting pressure from behind. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to use... Definitely not going to be able to use the uh, gas pedal the way you normally would if you have the same amount of grip as you have horsepower. Uh, or at least per the game anyway. But this way of driving the car is definitely tons of fun. You're just going to have to get used to it because right now, I mean, I am really butchering this pretty bad. But we're right where we need to be and we are headed to the A main. And now it's time for the main event, the A main. Settle in, we have a great race in store for you. Oh, yeah, the A main. All right, I don't know where we're starting in the A-Main. Looks like we're toward the back, maybe? Yeah, 17th position. Out, there's contact already. And we're playing bumper cars from the start of the race. Good. Really no illusions that it was going to be any other way, honestly. Ouch, more contact there. Full contact racing in the 305 division. Yeah, it's definitely just aim and fire. Just point this thing in the direction you want it to go, and hopefully it goes in that direction. All right, so we're running 15th right now, which I certainly cannot complain about. We've narrowly missed a top 10 in our last race. Yeah, that was not a good corner there at all it could be but you can see I am struggling with this car to try to figure out how to contain the horsepower ouch and more contact it would be a little easier if we didn't have somebody trying to run us over each and every corner Yeah, it'll just take me a little bit to try to figure out how exactly I'll need to drive this thing in its current condition, and hopefully it won't be too long before we'll be able to get another upgrade to the tires. And then we'll start our progress toward uh, equalizing the grip that we have. But yeah, we got no lack of horsepower, and boy is it fun. I actually had to uh, tone down the RPMs a little bit, change the gearing, because it was pulling the car so hard off the corner that it was making it harder and harder to control. So I backed off of that a little bit to try to give the car a little bit more grip. Take a little bit of that torque off the rear tires. All right, so we're in 14th, uh, of which I am extremely happy about that. So trying to find a little bit of a rhythm here. You can see these guys are not running away from us. Just trying to stay at the bottom. Don't want to get too low, especially with our current condition, because getting this car to turn any more than it already does on its own uh, is a recipe for almost certain disaster. Right, so we made one pass. Ooh, look out. I love having to modulate the throttle some to try to work this car because this 
It's much better than just being able to plant the throttle and not having to worry about it. Ouch! Just contact all over the place. But so far, so good. I've not even been paying attention to what lap we're on or how many's left or any of that. Too much traffic out there for that. All right, we're into the top dozen. And again, there's just cars everywhere. Right now, I have no idea what's for position and what's not. I was going to say, there's definitely somebody back there who's giving me uh, constant love taps to remind me that they won't buy. So we're just going to repay the favor a little bit whenever we get back to him, if we can get back to him. All right, where are we? Okay, 12 laps to go, just when I needed to know. So a dozen laps to go, and uh, yeah, we're here. So I'm using the brakes quite a bit on corner entry. Uh, I say quite a bit. You never have to use them a ton here in this game. Oh, look out. More contact leads to a definite quicker swapping ends of the car. All right, we've made our way into the top ten. Uh, and again, we're there's so many cars around us, I can't keep track of who are the lap cars and who we're passing for position. So I'm just trying to pass every car we come to. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, definitely having to modulate the throttle. Oh, look at that guy. That was a full send that he did on me right there. That was, yeah, that was definitely full send on his part. All right, let's see if we can maintain position on this guy. That little berm on the outside of the track is really giving me fits because I'm hanging the right rear out coming off the corner and when I clip that it is shooting the car right. So I have to be right on that edge without going over it and to this point I haven't figured out exactly how to do that without going over. All right, so there come the leader by us, but uh, still not bad. 12th position, I will take that. That should give us a nice payout. If we can do this consistently, instead of finishing 30th and 35th, now we're up closer to that top 10 number. We're finished somewhere between 10th and 15th. Much more money involved there. And of course, long term, if we can continue doing that, we should be in line for some very nice sponsors. So 12th position overall, let's see what kind of money we take home from that. Season standing in the points, 18th position, we'll take that. All right, our total, 3,200, almost 3,300 from the race purse, but overall about six grand. Again, we'll take it, it's gonna keep climbing, we're getting better, and that's all you can ask for. Almost six grand from today's race, when we come back next time, we'll take another look at just how close we are to our next upgrade. But for today, thank you guys so much for joining me and stick around for more SRX The Game.